talk to Aaron Taylor, the real estate guy. Welcome to Real Estate Live with the Real Estate Guys, Aaron and Jacob Taylor. We're keeping it real, we're keeping it current, and we're keeping it fun. Las Vegas' number one real estate show. Talk to Aaron Taylor. Call 310 Move. Talk to Aaron Taylor. 310 Move. The Real Estate Guy. All right, we're here, Real Estate Live, back in action. What's going Every on? Every weekend. I'm excited to be here. JT, how you feeling? I'm feeling good today. Good. I'm glad you're feeling excited, good. A excited, a little nervous. All, of, all the emotions running wild today. We're going to talk about that. We have a special <laughs> guest, too. We have uh, Christian from Solar, Sun Solar. Sun Solar Solutions. Sun Solar. Talk <laughs> in the mic, Christian. you got to put up there. Sun Solar Solutions. Sun Solar Sh Solutions, our solar company. So we're going to really duck dive into that today. we got some housing numbers for you, which is cool. Um, if anybody's listening, you're 55 and over, I'll just talk louder so you can hear me. I get it, because I don't know, I'm 60 now, and I can't, I can't hear stuff anymore. Like, not as good. Um, let's thank our sponsors, because we got some good people that take care of our podcast and our show. Chris Sullivan, our favorite attorney, real estate attorney, best guy in town. He's awesome, right? Here he is, his pitcher. I'm not sure about this pitcher. I say it every week, but... He has a satchel, a skirt. You still give it a kiss every week. An earring. I love you, Chris Sullivan. <laughs> um, he's Fidel the best. Fidelity National Title. Fidelity National Title. Julie's been helping me out a lot the last few days, trying to figure out some info with some power of attorneys and some sellers telling from out of country. So thank you, Fidelity. We love you. Um, if you guys ever need anything with your title or uh, escrow, they are the company to go with. Yeah, Fidelity's awesome. Neo Home Loans. Looking to refinance your house, purchase a house. Go through Neo Home Loans. That's our office. That's our family. We're going to take good care of you there as well. And are we missing anybody? Our cheers. Grape Street Cafe. Oh, our Don, favorite place Donnie to Boy. go. Johnny Boy in uh, downtown Summerlin, Grape Street Cafe, looking for some good Italian food or a nice glass of wine. We need John. John was on the show when me and Dustin had yeah, it years ago. We got to get him on. He's great. He'll bring <laughs> cocktails. We, Ramon, we used to start drinking. I'm telling you. Hey, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we do. Ramon, our... Um, Engineer, what do you call? What's your title? Producer. Producer. Our producer Close. is actually in the studio <laughs> with us today, which we love. Ramon, we're gonna get him more involved because he's such a good-looking guy. He's a good, a good personality, right? Yeah. We should get him more involved. Like Ramon, look at the camera over here. Come on, say hi. <laughs> this guy takes care of us. We just have to piss him off like we did Mark, because yeah, Mark, well, he gets, well, he gets fired up. Yeah, he doesn't. Come uh, bring as much content to the table <laughs> over here. But no, he does it. We'll have to figure out a way. Yeah, we do. But um, <laughs> you got something going on this weekend. Uh, your babies do any day, yeah. which we're so excited. I think, you know, me and your mom are super excited, your sister and brothers, and we're all excited about it just to see you take that next step. But you're also this weekend going to get married. I am. Well, why do you want to get married? T tell me why you're not going to get married. Why you're not going to wait a year and get married? What's your thinking? Well, I just wanted to, um, you know, I've come closer to my faith a lot the last year. Um, been going back to church a lot, kind of, you know, more so on my own. Been uh, born and raised Catholic, went to Catholic school from kindergarten to 12th grade, and it was always kind of force-fed on me at that time. Uh, didn't really enjoy it. Kind of just did it because I was supposed to. I learned quite a bit about about the you know Catholic faith and whatnot, and um, about Jesus Christ, but really didn't get to. I really didn't get to take it upon myself and you know feel anything doing it. It was more just doing what you're told. But the last right. year, I kind of came came to my own senses and decided I I wanted to get more into my faith and started attending Canyon Ridge Church. Um, love our pastor Drew Moore over there, and he's actually going to be marrying us. That's awesome. Today. Yeah, well, that's great, man. I applaud you for that. Way to go, kid. Thank you. All right, so we're excited <laughs> about the baby. We're excited about a little wedding this weekend, a quick little wedding. Just the ceremony. Just a ceremony. But in about a year from now, we'll do a big wedding, Ramon. We'll probably invite all of our listeners. <laughs> we'll have a 1,000 people, I'm sure. They want to go to the real estate open, kids. Open wedding. Yeah, they really do. Um, You're paying, buddy. The uh, real estate market, <laughs> third segment or so, we're going to talk about that. Really excited. Uh, I'm very optimistic of what's going to go on okay. with the real estate market. We got some great uh, sales um, that we listed, some listings that are not even on the market yet. Uh, when you hire the real estate guy team, 
like our commercials, both TV and radio and podcasts, we do some very unique things. Like right now we're talking about, you know, we're just, we just don't sell commercial real estate or commercial and, and uh, residential real estate. You know, we're advertising and marketing powerhouse. That's what we do. No one in our business markets and advertises like us. Right, Jake? Right. They just don't. And nobody does what we do on the sell side, like giving cash advances to our sellers to use for whatever they need. We bail people out all the time on the sell side. Repairing their house to get them top dollar. If we have to carpet, paint, clean up landscape, clean up the house, whatever we have to do to get them top dollar, we'll do that. And we do all these things with no interest. Do we get burned sometimes? Sure we do. But we do this stuff and charge no interest to help our seller get top dollar. And that's why we got Chris in our back pocket. Exactly. Then the last thing <laughs> is we go over our advertising, all our marketing with the seller, and we say, hey, what do you want to list the house for? You want to, you, you pay a dollar commission? You can pay $10,000, $30,000? It's up to you. But based on what you pay is going to determine on how we sell your home. If your house is priced right, I always make, I always make this example. If it's in Summerlin, 2,000 square foot, single story, three car garage, pool, spa, great lot in Summerlin for 700. You don't have to pay a dollar because someone's going to want that house. So we're giving our sellers those opportunities and we're exposing how the business works to allow them to make more money. I think that's pretty special on what we do, right? Absolutely. Yeah, right. So basically what he's saying is if you're going to price your home at market value or just below to price it aggressively, you could save the cost of paying in commission. But if you're going to try to get absolute top dollar, you know, go a little bit above market value, you, you got to you gotta offer up some commission to make, make people get into your home, right, to push the, the agents towards your home as well. Right. Well, he, well, here's the thing, and here's a good example of it. We, we talked about advertising and marketing. The real estate guy does it. Nobody does it better. I think that Christian would even agree with that. Ramon would job. agree with that. I mean, you guys, no one does. People here, I had breakfast this morning at a restaurant. Two people came up to me. They know who we are. So part of advertising in commercial and residential real estate is listed in the MLS so 18,000 realtors can see it. Yep. But that's just part of what we do. We, we, we sell the house on the buy side more than any other team. If we don't have to pay that part of it, why would you? Why would we have you? Right? Yeah. Other realtors have no choice because when they don't market, they don't advertise, they don't know what they're doing, they just stick it in the MLS and hopefully they pay a commission and someone sells it and they make a few bucks. That's kind of like the trend. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying we're a different company. And and I'm, I'm really proud of how, how we uh, grew over the years because I really believe we're a market advertising company that just specializes in residential real estate. That's it. I don't even think I'm a realtor anymore. I have to have the license to help people, but I don't look at it that way. Do you? Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. And then on, on top of that, uh, it, most agents, at, at most case, when you work with an agent, you're getting the agent or the agent and their transaction coordinator, and that's it. When you work with the real estate guy, you have a whole company behind your back, right? You have your listing agent. You have... You, myself, the broker to answer questions, help with scenarios when needed. Then you have a whole team of people, including the transaction coordinator as well, and Janessa, Janessa the marketing, marketing director. director. So you have four to five people working on one file or uh, touching it at some point. Then you have our agents. Transaction. Yeah, So and then you have our buyer's agents that help out with open houses, with extra marketing, with door knocking, with calling the neighborhood. So, I mean, you have at least four to five people touching every single and I could do. drop the mic after this one. We work with a company, EXP Realty, that has over 90,000 realtors. We have our own MLS yeah, worldwide. that we put it on worldwide. So your home gets seen everywhere, which is phenomenal. Um, one thing before we get into an, uh, the second segment and we introduce uh, Christian on the show is I was thinking about this on the way over here, JT, and we all kidding aside, you know, I make fun of old people because I'm old. So I just like doing it. It just makes you feel better. It does. It just makes me feel better. Like if you're a senior, <laughs> I'm going to make fun of you all day long. Maybe it's because I'm a senior and then some, and I just, I'm so youthful. I just think I'm younger than everybody. I think that's what it is, right? Sure. Because I was in Siena the other day, walking some clients through Siena, and I walked in the gym, and I was seeing the old people work out. They were like, walking oh, like this. You know, one guy in this tank with him. I'm thinking, oh, my God. No, it's not going to be me. I'm never going to get there. But. 
the clients I had, they owned a property, had a bank account, had a few stocks, retirement account. And we started talking and they didn't even have a living trust set up, which is, which floors me. Like, and I think the part of the conversation was, why do I care if I'm dead? I'm dead and this and that, but they had a few kids. And I'm like, well, if you don't have a living trust set up, you're just making it harder on your kids when you die. Like, right? Because yeah. now they have to deal with probate, attorneys, attorneys, deadlines, and all that. Them yeah. fighting over who gets what. So we have Robert, who is our trust attorney. He's a great guy, right? He is awesome. Robert, if you guys are listening and you're at any age and you don't have a living trust set up and you own a house, it's so easy to do. It's not very expensive, but it really just lays out where your house goes to when you pass, where your belongings go, stock accounts, you stock it, where everything accounts. goes, um, what's going to happen with your medical, and like businesses and business, whatever you have. And don't think that you don't have enough for it. It just it's inexpensive, and it just makes it better. So give us a call 702-310-6683. 702-310-MOVE. Uh, Easy to get a hold of the real estate guy team for the living trust situation, solar, or, you know, list your house, buy a house, anything you need, 702-310-6683. So let's take a break. I'm super excited to have Christian back from Solar City Run Company, whatever, and um, he'll correct me on that because I could never remember. What do you think, Sid? Take a break? Oh, that's my older son. See, I forget that, too. Sun Solar Solutions. Yeah, Sun Solar Solutions. So, you ever notice sometimes I'll call you, I'll go down the line? Yeah. Like, yeah. I do that stuff. When you have a bunch of kids, Ramon, you go down the line. Like, hey, Sid, I mean, Tino, I mean, right. Jacob. My dad did the same thing. He would even throw a dog in there. Oh, would he throw the dog yeah, in there, too? <laughs> yeah, well, it's hard. When you get older, you just get forgetful. It's A-G-E disease. It happens. But we're going we're gonna to talk about solar. I'm going to ask some really questions. I'm going to duck dive into really what it's all about. Is it safe for you? Um, you know, there's rumors of getting screwed over and them taking advantage of you. And with our company and with, with uh, Christian, that doesn't happen. So we'll take a quick break. We'll talk to you in a minute. Thanks for listening to Real Estate Live. See you in a second. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Real Estate Live. Aaron Taylor, the real estate guy here, along with the real estate. I'm not going to call him kid anymore. The real estate guy. The real estate man. Let me hear you talk with the deep voice. I'm the real estate man. I don't have that deep voice give, yet. Give it a shot. Just I practice. I think I'm okay for now. You can't even talk like this? I don't have the deep voice yet. Oh, where are you getting there? <laughs> I can't wait till I hear that voice from like one month to another when the years come where you all of a sudden you get that. I think when the baby's born, he's probably going to get the deeper voice. There you go. Possibly. I think that's going to happen. Anyways, um, Christian, Welcome. Thank you for having just me. Just make sure you're talking to that mic, brother. You know, this moves if you want. You can move it up. You can move it down. All right. Just sweet. be comfortable. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from. Fire away. Go. All right. Christian Herrera. I work for Sun Solar Solutions. I was born and raised here in Las Vegas, so I really do want to take care of my community. So what we're doing uh, out here in solar is we're helping people really understand what actually solar is because not everyone benefits from it. If I live in a home by myself... Solar's, solar's not going to be beneficial for me versus someone who has a family of right. four Before kids. Before you get into that, though, I need to know about you personally first. About me personally. I ain't just All buying right. solar. I need to know. You want to so know about me? Okay. Who are your parents? My parents. I have two parents who are high school sweethearts. They are also both uh, born in... Actually, no. My mother's from Spain. Father was born and raised in Vegas. Noah and Alicia... Great people. I love them. Alicia's beautiful. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, everybody tells you that probably, right? Oh, yeah. They say I look like her. So. When you were a kid, you probably got, like, really, dude? <laughs> yeah. About my I mom know. probably pissed you off a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Your dad, lucky to have her. Yes. Very lucky, man. But I've known your dad since I was in my 20s. Yeah. A long time. Like Meadows Mall. Like Kenny Shoe Days. Like, I've known him for, like, ever. That's why, the mic that's what he told it. Yeah, the mic screw just came oh, off, dude. but it's all right. <laughs> hey! It's our budget. We don't have a lot of money. That's all right. That's all right. Just you can hold it, and then yeah. when we take a break, we'll fix it. Yeah, it's honest. Unless, I'm Jacob, good. why don't you fix it while he's okay, going? Go ahead. Keep talking. Perfect. But we yeah. Hey, we don't have the big budgets, but hey, we'll fix it. No, that's But yeah, great. Noah, dear friend of mine, what a smart guy in our business. What Thank a smart guy it. just making money. He works hard. He's a hard worker. I got to say that. Just hold 
Yeah, and now he just thinks with his head. Like he's oh, pretty yeah. smart. Uh huh. He is. He is very smart, and he's uh, he's educated me as well. So I, I got I got thankful to have him in my life. Right. And how old are you? I'm 24 years old. Okay, so you're just a little younger than Jacob. Yes, sir. And he's probably super proud of you. Yes, he is. Because you're a hard worker too. You have the same well, char- characteristics. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, all of our clients that are doing solar with us have nothing but good things to say about you, which is well, thank fantastic. You. Thank you, thank you. I'll keep it up. Well, you do. You come across with the helping mentality. Hey, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. I'm here to help you. Choose the plan. Choose the program. Right. And uh, that really goes a long way. So I wanted our listeners and our podcast viewers just to kind of get to know you as a person. Well, thank you. Not just, you know, get here about solar. Yeah. I could definitely give you a little more personal information. So, uh, like I said, I was born and raised here in Las Vegas. I went to high school at Coronado High School, and then I, I... did a quick four years up in University of Nevada, Reno, got an economics degree, and then I came de- back down to the place I love and wanted to help the community. So four years at Reno, you didn't yes. screw one year up? No, not one year. I worked my ass off to get out of there in four years. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you weren't like Jacob where he screwed the first year up? <laughs> oh, no. My parents were all like, you don't graduate in four, you're coming back. I was like, all right, I'll be back in four. <laughs> Dude. Well, that's great. So, oh, um, yeah. Janessa, our marketing director, just got her solar in. Yes, she did. Super happy about it. Good, good. Glad so, to hear. First question for you, because I just, I, you know, everybody hears all the negativity be about solar, and uh, so why should people even entertain solar versus just keep in their power? What, what what's your opinion on that? Well, my opinion on that is, uh, it's. Would you rather have a bill that's unpredictable? You don't know what it's going to be every month. Yes, of course. You can check your NV Energy app and then see you're about to pay $500 in August for your uh, power bill. Why is it unpredictable with solar? Because we have a fixed payment and we keep it in there. And I I make sure my clients understand everything before they even sign. So I want to make sure they understand their monthly payment, their tax credit, how much their total is going to be at the end of the 25 years of the loan. Or we also have shorter uh, loan terms. But I make sure my clients understand everything before they sign because if I don't feel like they understand it, I don't feel like they they'll still benefit from it. Sure. But they can't help their family and friends. Right. You want referrals and repeat yeah. customers. That that as well. Okay, so first question. You're when you do a plan for them for solar, mm-hmm. if they don't pay cash for it and they just finance it, correct, then you try to come up with a plan what what hits their what they're paying monthly right now. Correct. So there's no like no big stress or no like, wow, man, it's so high now, or it's, you just want it to be the same for the year. Well, so that is probably the least amount of our goals is to get it. So we always call NV Energy, ask for the 12-month average. Say your home 12-month average is $300. We're going to try to get that payment to $150 to $200 a month because we're not trying to just, oh, uh, switch a bill and know exactly what you're going to pay every month. We're really trying to help people save $100, $150, maybe $200 a month because inflation is getting crazy out here. There's Nothing. The government isn't helping us. We got to help ourselves. So to, uh, getting solar is one way we'll be able to help ourselves lock in those prices. So and, let's say it's 300 Right. And let's say I'm the client and I said, look, I don't care about saving money monthly. I just want it to be the same. Okay. So let's say it's 20, 25 years. It's $300 a month. Is it going to change in those 20 or 25 years? Well, it depends. Or is it going to stay the same? Well, with the lease option, it's going to go up to about 2.5% a year because there's an escalator with those leases. But when you purchase it through a, a normal loan, um, there is no escalator in there. There is a little um, – there's a tax credit difference in the payments, which I always explain to my clients. So say if you see that um, $300 a month solar payment and then say you have a $10,000 tax credit, you'll see another um, – probably payment of $400 right under that $300 payment. And I explain this to all my clients. Is it 400 extra a month? No, instead of 300, it goes to 400. But that's if the client doesn't use the tax credit towards the solar. Oh, and so, they always use the tax credit towards the solar. Yes, yes. So yeah, then that's it, a no-brainer. So then it stays at Don't that 300 that. Yes. In other words, listeners, it's like this. Let's say you pay 60,000 bucks for solar. Well, they may give you 15,000 or let's say towards a t- tax credit. Correct. If you, you could just keep the money and not pay or you do what you want with it or pay your t- – but you give it back to the solar company so your payment just stays fixed. You're not giving them any money up front, so why would you want to make money? Just give it back to them when you get that check, and it keeps the payment the same. Now, it, so they give the check back. They Correct. keep the payment the same. It's at 300 It doesn't go up for those years. Yes, sir. Why does Nevada Energy go up? 
Will it go up? Does it go up? Tell me oh, about that. Oh, yeah. So it goes up 4% every year. Uh, that's what they have to do. We actually voted on it in a midterm election not too long ago. So that's actually our own fault why Nevada Energy gets to uh, raise those rates. So uh, they actually just had a recent rate hike June 1st. So you guys will see that into effect here pretty soon. But no matter what, we voted on it. Envy Energy has to raise the price of electricity 4% a year. They're raising it more than 30% a year. So in 300, hypothetically, let's just throw a number out there. Got in, it. In, in 10 years, what could that payment be? What do you think at 300? At 300 in 10 years, probably, if we're talking summer, probably around $1,000 in 10 years. In five years, I would say about six, seven hundred dollars okay, so, so in 10 years, that 300 payment a month can go to an average of five, six, seven hundred a month it's consistently. All, yeah, double or triple. But yours says it how much? $300, $300 the fixed price. Month. What do you think about that, guys? You like this little clap? Little? <laughs> I tell you. Well, anything to do to get people excited around us, Jacob. Yeah. What do you well, think? I mean, I'm going to be going through uh, Christian myself here very soon. You know, I just purchased my first house uh, that I, I occupy. And uh, I'm trying to see how much my usage is going to be throughout the first few months because there was a single guy living in the house before. And now it's going to be me, my wife, and my kid, uh, as well as I'll have a Tesla charger in the garage, right? So... Another key thing that, you know, most people don't know about the solar is you really you need to get panels to make sure you're taking care of your usage or you're still going to pay NV Energy a little bit per month, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I want to make sure I see what my usage is after, like, two or three months, and I'll at least get one summer month in there so then I can kind of get an idea of how much panels I want because I don't want to get – Solar and then still have a fifty dollar payment to NV Energy exactly four months out of the year. We wouldn't want to do that. that he goes that ten percent above. You Absolutely, sure exactly. that, but he's got to know what ten percent above is. Exactly. And yes, I know he knows what I'm talking about. Three people in a house with the Tesla charger is a lot different than one person that's barely ever home. And in, in a model match, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So I need to figure out how much my usage is going to be, kind of average. Right. And out. if you guys are in a place, let's say. Like, yeah, you know, Sun City Summerlin, Sun City uh, Aliante, Sun City Anthem, Siena, McDonald Ranch, any of these communities, a lot of these people have the ability just to pay it cash. Correct. And there's a discount, I believe, when you pay it cash, there's a slight discount in there for you, which is great. 100%. And you just pay it, and then you don't even have a bill. So if you're retired, you're trying to get rid of bills, I mean, that two, three, four hundred dollar bill could just be flipping annoying, right? Pay for it and be done with it already. And I think that's a smart way to. And then you just have the connection fee to NV Energy every month. But yeah, exactly. which is that's the, the only thing bucks? they'll be able to raise on you. Is that yes. Connection fee. <laughs> oh, yeah. All of a sudden, I can see in 10 years, their connection fee goes from $25 to $620. Yeah. No. <laughs> Can't stop them guys from doing that. It will eventually. If everybody has solar, I could see that. We'll just oh, keep yeah. raising the connection fee. Yeah. Exactly. But for me, for me, for solar, Christian, mm -hmm. I think the key is is that I just lock in my kilowatt usage. Correct. Where it is right now. And that and that's smart. If you're if you're any kind of a planner, if you plan on being around ten years, just lock it in now. Why would you want to pay the four percent hike, the thirty percent hike? I don't want to do it. Neither do I. So we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna go to a break. When we come back, I have more questions. Then last week we didn't talk about our houses of the of our upcoming houses of the week. We're gonna talk about that. And uh, get a hold of the real estate guy, 702-310-6683 to sell your house, buy a house, commercial, any one of our three programs that I talked about, cash advance, doing repairs for you. We give you the money, just pay us back, no interest, or pay as little as $1 commission because we're a marketing and advertising powerhouse. Me and my boy, Jacob Taylor, <laughs> the real estate guys. You're listening to Real Estate Live. We will be back in just a minute. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Real Estate Live. Me and JT... We're just talking about this quick wedding that he's having. And I'm telling him, it's not really a big deal to you, is it? I mean, it is, but it's not, but it is. And you're saying, it is. It is. I was losing some sleep over it. I mean, I'm still a little, I'm still nervous. Just, I think I'd be more comfortable if it was in front of a thousand people. <laughs> Honestly, the yeah. type of guy I am, I feel probably more comfortable in front of everybody, all my friends, all my family, but yeah. so intimate. Yeah. So the purpose of this is really just get married. I just want to be in the, eyes, in of the God, eyes of God before the baby before the baby's born. Mm -hmm. But I always I always like to tell this story anyway briefly before we get back into things, yeah, Christian. Do your thing. Um, you know, a week and a half after I started talking with her, and by talking, I literally just mean having a conversation, getting to know her. 
Um, I told my dad in the car one day. I called him up. I said, I'm going to marry this girl. And he laughed at me. And about, that was about a year ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here we are today. So that was it. You did. I, I knew it right off. When you guys were just talking and powwowing and getting to know each other. Yeah. I knew. And I think I even jinxed some Christian and Ramon <laughs> and guys. I just, because when they met, I liked yeah. her so much. I kept telling her. Hey, will you get pregnant already? Will you get pregnant? That's no, not like, something a parent right would do. Right away. <laughs> that was funny. And then within months, all of a sudden, she, he calls me up and there he goes, you go. guess what? I got your wish. <laughs> and this is grandchild number, legitly, it's grandchild number 16. Wow. If you count Sid's kids, Tori's kids, like it's grandchild like, number 16. Like Biologically, grandchild number 12. But, you know, I like family, right? I think all my kids is grandkids. That's number 16. That's insane. Nice. You must be really old. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm very active. <laughs> There's a difference, right? 702-310-6683, the real estate guys. Give us a call. we love to hear you. And, by the way, when you call us, I don't even care if you call us and just want a gift card to Grape Street Cafe. We'll give you a gift card, won't we? Sure. Why I'll not? give you a gift card. Send you down to our cheers. Yeah, you come by the office. We'll give you a gift card. Go have a glass of wine on the real estate guys, right? Yeah. We get that all the time. Come in, say hi to us. Say, hey, we want to. Here's here's a deal. I'm going to make you a deal. You go by our office, 8400 West Sahara. Say, I want to take a picture with the real estate guys. That'd be cool, right? Put it on our website. <laughs> We're going to give you a gift card to Grape Street Cafe for a couple glasses of wine, some hors d'oeuvres. What do you think, Jacob? Sounds like a plan. That's where all you got to do is go to 8400 West Sahara. Call up 702-310-6683. Is one of the real estate guys here? You take a picture, we're going to give you a gift card. Because we want the pictures to post on our website to tell everybody how popular we are. There you go. <laughs> right? I mean, let's just call it what it is, right, Christian? Exactly, yeah. Smart. I mean, you might as well say it. Hey, smart marketing. I'll tell you, you want to know smart marketing? Huh. I do this a lot. This is funny. People will go to a night's game. All and right. I take pictures with a lot of people, but everybody comes up and goes, hey, man, the real estate guy. You the real estate guy? Yeah, you're the real estate guy. Man, I see you on TV. I love your son. I don't wait till they ask to take a picture because most won't, right? Right. There you go. I get out my phone. I say, hey, can we take a picture together? And they're like, yeah, let's do it. Very, very well, what smart. What do you think as soon as I take it? What do you think they say? And they say, hey, can we take a picture? Can we take a picture? And I'm like, yes. Yeah, there you and go. And you can put it on your social media. What do you, Ramon, is that cool? That's smart, right? That's very smart. It does work, It's too. marketing. I've seen it firsthand. It's I'm marketing sure. and advertising. <laughs> it's pretty good. What that we is do. marketing and advertising. Good. They feel obligated. That they, they're like, I got to take go. my own picture now. now yeah. I honey, take honey, a take a picture them. of us. Yeah. Or <laughs> I say, hey, give me your phone number and I'll send it to you. That's smart, too. Now I got them. Now you have a client. Got them. Yeah. Got them, coach. <laughs> <laughs> Get to market you forever. All right. What do we got for, for Christian? Let me just go over this real quick. I don't want to forget this because I got more questions for Christian. Go for it. But when you list your house with a real estate guy, we always talk about it on our radio show. We're on a couple different channels and our podcast. Believe it or not, our radio show, I mean, we have thousands of people that listen to us. Perump, Mesquite, here. It's a live show. Very lucky and blessed that that happens. And we get people calling about our houses all the time. So, coming soon, 12382 Tudor Arc Drive. It's an 89138. The list price, $1.4 million. Single story, Toll Brothers house. Love that. Summerlin Stonebridge community, highly upgraded, over 250000 in upgrades, pool and spa, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, and an engine suite with a three-car garage. Nice. Sounds Pretty beautiful. cool. And a partridge in a pear tree. You get all that for <laughs> 1.4. Sounds fair. New house, Summerlin. I mean, come on. Toll Brothers. Really? 1.4, Jacob. Sounds good. Are you in? Ready to sell yours and move up? Not quite yet. <laughs> Another place. 4670 Monterey Circle, unit number one. Listed at 229, 1,000 square feet condo, two bedrooms, one bath, community pool, gym, spa, gated community. See, we list them at 1.4. We got one at 229. We don't care, huh? We'll do them all. Ask me if I care. Do you care? I don't care. <laughs> $50,000 mobile home, as long as it's personal as long property. As it's converted. Yeah, we got to have it converted. Or a $5 million house, I don't care. We'll do it. We're here to help you. Next one, 2600 
Trotwood Lane. Trotwood. Like, da 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 Trotwood. <laughs> Listen, 550. <laughs> am I as funny as I think I am? You're on something today. I'm not as funny as I think I am. What do you think? I think they're dad jokes. <laughs> they're probably grandpa jokes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> What's weird is when I talk, sometimes you guys all look at me. I'm the only flipping one laughing. <laughs> like, I'm having so much fun. And you guys are like, what's this guy on? What's he, what's That's going what on? I said. You're on something today. I am on something. 2600 Trotwood. Okay. Listed at 550, two story, four bedroom, two and a half baths, 2407 square feet, two car garage, huge corner lot in the northwest, 550. I already know they're going to take 549. So we are, there's already a discount. Just give it to us. <laughs> All right, that's what happens when you list your house with the Real Estate Guy team. You put you on our podcast, put you on our radio stations. We send postcards out. We ask you for three names and phone numbers. We call your friends up. We let them know your home is listed. We create postcards. We put it on our social media, on the Real Estate Guys Facebook and Instagram. We tag you on it. We have other systems. We market your property to get you so many views, and then we list, and then we sell the house. That's what we do. Goes to Fidelity, title, opens escrow. Our, our coordinators, which we have four of them, they've been with us forever, are going to guide you through the whole process to make it a happy ending. Nothing's out of the box. We'll do, we'll do uh, the mail transfer for you, utilities. We'll send you boxes, a moving company. We'll find you a house in another city, another state. We have agents everywhere in the United States. Right, JT? We do. Nothing is within our box. We'll do anything. Go wash your car if you need us to. I don't care. JT will do that part. <laughs> He'll wash the car. So let's get back to our solar because I'm so excited about our solar because what I love mostly about everything, Christian, about what you do and um, our company, Sun Solar Solutions, is that you're so transparent when you help a customer. Always. Like there's no hiding. Mm -mm. Disclose, disclose, disclose. Tell me more about that. Tell me why. So we, uh, we're used to that in general because we want our clients to understand everything. And just some people, when uh, they have a solar appointment, they have the guy who comes into the house who, uh, who won't leave until you sign. So that's why a lot of people are really turned off by solar. But what we're doing is uh, I'm educating my clients on solar so they actually understand what they're getting. They see the benefits of it, and they can, uh, they can see the benefits right away and get out of this inflation that we're dealing with right now. Do you know how many sunny days we have a year in Las Vegas? Probably 300 plus. You're right. All right, look ding, at me. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, can we get the crew to give them a little round of applause? Everybody? Thank you, thank you. Because it's so late. <laughs> 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 I tell you what. <laughs> you know the funny part about it is? I love that I can say that, and everybody goes, everybody does it. <laughs> this guy looks like he wants to kill me right here. <laughs> He's like, if you ask me to do it one more time, I'm over, I'm done. He's, <laughs> he's going to call Jude and say, Man, I'll do anybody's podcast, but not the real estate guy. He's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's good to be transparent. Yes, always. Sean, because the more you know, the more educated you are. Not only are you comfortable with the with the purchase of the decision, but you're more likely to get referrals. 100%, exactly. We do the same thing. When we list a house or, buy a house or help people buy a house, we have a presentation we go to. Right. When we go over paperwork or the process, we teach them every single step of the way. We want you to be educated in it because we want you to feel good about it. Right. Because we want you to refer us. And I was shocked when my daughter was buying a home in San Angelo, Texas. You know, I'm going over with my my daughter, my son-in-law, okay. all the process, all the mortgage process, <laughs> everything. Bet. Yeah. They weren't. They were almost mad that well, I was. Were. They got a little frustrated. Oh, <laughs> the lender got frustrated. Let me tell you that story real quick, why the lender got frustrated. We're sitting there. We're talking. Early on, the lender goes, well, I can tell this guy knows what I'm talking about. So she's a little edgy <laughs> with me, right? And I ask her some simple questions like, what are your what are your set fees? Right. That's all I want to know. Fair enough. Be up front with me. She goes, processing, underwriting, set fee, $1,500. <sighs> nothing more? Nope, nothing more. I said, good. All right. So now we just got to deal about the rate. Then we talked about the interest rate. It seemed like it would fit them if they did a 2-1 buy down. In, in Texas, the only one that could pay for the 2-1 buy-down was the seller. Uh, I couldn't get my commission and do it because it's my daughter. Of course, I'm going to get my referral fee and give it to her. But right. I couldn't do it. They couldn't even pay for it. Oh, wow. The buyers couldn't pay for it. To get a 2-1 buy time, 2-1 buy-down, the seller had to pay for it. Okay. So we negotiated 6100 bucks for there the seller go. to pay for it. Fantastic, yeah. right? Well, then um, 
when we got the CDs, the closing disclosures, right? I, I kept asking for a settlement statement. Show me a settlement statement. Show me. Show. When I finally saw one, guess what the fixed costs were? What was it? They weren't fifteen hundred. Uh, they were thirty three hundred. Oh, there you go. Because there was a point zero six four percent loan origination fee. Ah, there you go. Where did that come from, Christian? What Not does that disclosing. sound like to you? Not disclosing. Right, Jacob, what does that sound like to you? Sounds a little sleazy. Sounds like a bait and switch. Well, guess what? I called her ass out on it. And all of a sudden, you know what she told my daughter and her husband? What she say? I don't want to talk to him anymore. I'm only going to talk to you guys. Oh, so you want to talk to the uneducated, dumb people buying their first <laughs> house, not the smart broker father that's been in this for 30 years. Exactly. Not getting my referrals anymore. 100 Not getting a five-star review for me. But I made her take it off. <laughs> there you go. Why? Okay, all together? Yeah, <laughs> Love that. Can we get more people in here when we do this? Is there a sound bite that you have for that? Well, let's make one. <laughs> that would be so cool. Round of applause. Yeah, I mean, even Howard Stern has sound bites. We should have sound bites. But yeah, you got to disclose, and that's what. But the thing is, is I had to catch her. Yeah, we're going to get what she said now. Right. And she made up something about, uh, uh, no, you're lying. Sorry, you're lying. The realtor even tried to cover up for her. Yeah, who referred us to her. I'm like, really? You should be calling her ass out on this crap. Mm -hmm. And tell her, you ain't helping any of my customers more because you lied. And you try to take advantage of a young couple that you didn't think Pops was going to look out for them. Exactly. But not only more is you disclose and you help because you want the referrals, Christian. Exactly. Right? I want to help them out. And I want the referrals as well. When 100%. the neighbors get together and they talk about their solar mm -hmm. and they say, oh, my God, let me tell you how this works. I paid $3.30 for my kilowatts and it's not going up for 25 years. And my payment stays the same. And if I want to pay it off, do I have a prepayment penalty? No, sir. No. No prepayment penalty. If I want to pay extra to the principal, can I? Yes. Yes, you can. Do I get a discount if I pay cash? Yes. Yes. Can I get a, Can I get some love? <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Good God, Molly Brown. <laughs> That's true. The Solar Kings. We need, we need to take a break, don't we? Probably. I think we should take a break. I need some water. I've been talking too much. JT, can you talk a little more? Is next segment sure. the last one? Oh, that I got sucks. market stats for you. Oh, yeah. Thank God. I was, <laughs> I was hoping we go like five or six segments. I'm having so much fun. You can tell. Okay. Let's call it up. We'll see you in a minute. Real Estate Live out. Don't go anywhere, though. All righty, everybody. We're back here. We only got a few <laughs> minutes left to go, but I wanted to make sure we actually got some real estate info out on this show before we end. Well, Solar's real estate. That is there true. I mean, and it, Christian is... is Father is a real estate broker. Yes, That's yes. True. One of the top guys in this town. Absolutely. So it's real estate. There you go. All right. So we're going to be talking about the market stats. Let's talk about inventory. Let's talk about some sales, where we think median price is going for the month of June. Let's right? do it. So, uh, you know, we talked about it last week that the inventory is trickling up every month. Uh, we are seeing more properties getting listed on the market than are being sold now. Now, it's not necessarily that we're decreasing in sales, right? We're still going up in sales, 100, 200 sales per month. But now, the last month, we're starting to go up in inventory, 200, 300 homes per month, right? So uh, uh, our current active inventory for single-family homes is about to hit the 4,000 mark. Uh, wow. we'll, we'll, I haven't seen that in a long time. 3,900 right now. I think by uh, probably be, for sure the end of June, we're probably going to cross 4,000. Before 000. the baby's born or after the baby? After the baby. Okay. So, yeah, that's only a few days. But I think by the end of June, we'll see uh, over 4,000 single-family homes on the market again for the first time in, like, two years. It's been a long time. Um, then uh, our current total active inventory in the market is about 5,400 now, right? So we're pushing up. I think by the end of the month, we'll be pushing 56, 5,700 okay. if the current trajectory continues. Um our sales, though, our sales are doing pretty solid, right? We're seeing over 2,000 sales every month now consistently. 30% off, off or so from the norm, though. Yes, but that's... But several percent but off from last year. You know, yeah. so we are seeing, we are just seeing more, like, like this, this last 30 days, for example, we already have 2,200 single-family sales, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say, you know, that's, that's roughly... You know, we have like a 1.7, 1.8 month supply of single family homes, which in reality still isn't that much at all, right? No. People might see the trends changing a little bit, but you know, in the early stages, right, from what we've talked about, it's pretty typical for the month of May and June for sales to increase, for inventory to increase, sorry, 
um, as you know, everybody gets out of school, all the families start listing their homes because their kids are out of school now, and they start making bigger decisions in, in their lives, right? Right, and if you have a pool, good time to sell a house. Very good time to sell a house. They sell very well in these months. I wonder why. It does. <laughs> you see that pool when you walk into a house? We, I was showing houses this weekend. I walk into a house. They had the air conditioner like at 85. Oh, Jesus. It was a gorgeous house, beautiful pool, everything. But we walked in, we're like, can we leave? Yeah. It was just too hot. Yeah, we're going to see most likely about three, about 3,000 sales for the month month of June. Excuse me. Um, and, you know, that's that's going to be up roughly, what, four or 500 sales from the previous month. Uh, we'll, we're seeing more sales coming in. In the last 30 days, I have here 2,827 sales. Wow, that's pretty good. Family condos, yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, the, the market is moving still, right? Um, but who knows what's going to happen come election season? The feds did talk about they are, you know, expecting to do at least one uh, decrease in the rates. So just give us a little one. Just they, tease us they, a little. They're bit. going to give us a one quarter point. They're going to give us Half one, point. and that's going to just make things go crazy. Even just that little bit. I'm sure we're going to see rates fluctuate in the low sevens, high sixes. Uh, you know, right Ooh, now. Well, it gets the high sixes. Uh oh. Yep. Look out. Change. I mean, you still have builders offering 5.99, 4.99, 5.25 fixed rates. So builders are still winning right now, and they probably will be for another year or so. Okay. Last um, note, Jacob. So. Can I get? Can I change the subject for a minute? Take it away. Because we only have a few more minutes. We have two more minutes. All right. Who are you voting for mayor? She already won the primaries. Who who are we voted? Miss Seaman over there. Victoria Seaman. Christian, who are you voting for? Victoria Seaman. Guys, who are you voting for mayor? Victoria. Victoria. Go, <laughs> Victoria. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So all you old farts out there listening, come on. I know you vote. You're the only ones that do. The young kids don't vote. Can't get them out there. If we get the young kids like you and Christian and everybody in here, if you guys go vote for Victoria Seaman, she'll win majority times 10. Yeah, because right now the numbers are showing uh, that that Shelly's got a little edge. Well, she's got a little edge because she's just been around for like 120 years. She just knows more people. <laughs> but she's got Victoria Seaman as a real estate guy. We're influencers, right, JT? We're yeah. going to get her. We, we need Victoria Seaman. She was help. a real estate broker. She's, she's smart. Out the community. Yeah, I like the way she's, I mean, she's going to be involved. She ain't just doing it to do it. She's doing it because she loves our city. So we need Victoria Seaman to run for mayor and win, uh, to win because then next year we're going to win. I told her. <laughs> I'm vote, I'm running for mayor. We're going to win. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, we got one more minute. Anything you want to say before we uh, check out? Nope. Thanks for, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for joining in, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, thank Christian. You, Christian for thank you guys on. for having me again. I really appreciate yeah, it. Th- thanks as always, brother. You're great. Call 702-310-6683. That's 702-310-MOVE to list your house, buy a house, need a trust, you need solar. Give the real estate guys a call. We're out. And lastly, everybody, I forgot to say, happy Father's Day. Jacob, happy Father's Day coming. You're going to be a father, Christian. Thanks. Not no, yet sir. for you, but tell Noah. Yes, Happy Father's Day. Thank you. And happy and Father's Day to both of you guys. JT, happy Father's Day. Love you. The real estate guy.